How's it going everyone? It's Mr. Hem here again. So in this video, I like to go through keyboard hotkeys and hooking into them. Alright, so um, we're doing this in visualbasics.net and there's a reason why I, I want to show this. Um, and it relates to the video I did in the past about mouse clicking. I'll just show you that one. So previously I made a uh, video on mouse clicking, uh, auto mouse clicking, where uh, what we did was we got the mouse to jump around randomly every two seconds. Now if this was going a lot faster and you have no way of getting out of this and so I thought mm, maybe we can use the keyboard to get out of this since this has taken control over my of the mouse, right? So this is the motivation. Now the other issue is, I'll just stop that. Another issue is um, if you were to use key key one of these events that are that are um, um, you know I guess bound to this form in a sense, um, you, you can't when you lose focus on the form, there's no way on um, registering the key input. So you actually need to hook into the keyboard outside kind of outside of this this form in a sense I'll, um, I'll I'll leave this project for now I'll go into a new project called keyboard hook here and I'll just show you how to um, set up the keyboard hook or, or hotkey keyboard hotkey hooking so just like the mouse we're going to hook into the uh, Windows 32 um, methods there which is, and what I'll do is I'll just grab the syntax from this mouse clicker. I'll just grab one of these, just like maybe this one. Let's grab that one. And, and I'll just paste it here. But we'll need to change a few things. So everything at the start's the same. This one is going to be register hotkey. Same we're accessing the same DLL library and the event for this for hotkey see if we can find the event for hotkey we can look it up hotkey register hotkey I'll just look it up and just show you what we're trying to um, hook into okay so over here these are the inputs that we need so some kind of window handle we can keep at null. An ID for one of our hotkeys, any modifiers for our hotkeys, whether we have, you know, like shift or alt or stuff, and then the actual hotkey. All right, so we'll grab, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll just put those in. So there's four inputs there. So the first one is, um, what was it? It's the handle. And that's going to be a pointer to our well, form if we want to. Um, related to our form. So we'll go handle as it um, pointed to our form. The next one is ID, which is important because this allows us to have unique hotkeys for you know different hotkeys. So um, so we'll relate this to the actual keys. For this one, for the next one is some kind of modifier. So let's go modifier as um, as long as, as int integer and finally the last one is um, also the, the actual key that you're going to uh, want to register so I'll use key code for this one so keys all right so that's that and that's pretty much nearly we're nearly there now what we need to do is we need to register the key so let's say um, I want to register the S key to, sh to what I'll do is my goal is I'll hide the form and then when I press S the form shows up how, how about that so we'll register the um, this uh, the uh, me dot hand handle is the handle so this the actual form itself the key that I want to use is keys dot S um, not using any modifier no shift no control or anything like that and keys dot s is the actual key that I'm, I'm I want to hook into. Okay, so let's have a look at our um uh, something else that we need to um have a look at. So we, whoops, 
we need our inter we need to import our um, interrupt services and there's also a, an unregister hotkey method that you want to use at some point to unregister your hotkeys right uh, we'll need to override the win proc as well so we need to do that and then that's where we look at our message to see whether the key was pressed and then uh, and I'll show you how to multi uh, um, identify and register multiple hotkeys so we'll do all of those things so first things first I need to import just like before import system dot windows dot oh sorry system dot runtime dot interrupt services oh whoa um uh, interrupt services and um, now we've registered the hotkey we need to know when the hotkey was pressed so we need to we need to um get to we need to override we'll, protected override we need to grab the override over over protected override uh, which one which one to scroll down it should be w there it is we want to override that and this this will this thing will give us messages when this thing um uh, when we press something your uh, windows will message us through this particular um this this particular uh, function here uh, uh, um, or rather this particular subroutine here all right so we'll do so now what we'll do is we want to check our message m is the message we want to check inside here we want to check the message and we want to check if the hotkey was pressed we want to check if the hotkey was pressed now to know whether the hotkey was pressed you're checking for if you look at the documentation you're checking for this thing this thing which is you're checking for this hex here so what i'll do is i'll grab that Public const and get rid of all of that. Put a put a um, and h and we're just we're, we're checking for that. We're checking so we, so this thing this thing will uh, will register um, this number message will register this number if we press whatever we've bound here. And, and what I'll do is when the form loads, just to test it out, I'll go me.visible equal, uh, equals false, uh, true. I'll make it invisible when the form loads. And when I press the button, I'll make the, I'll make the form appear. Visible equals true. You know what? Maybe not. Equals true. What I'll do is I'll chuck a button instead. I'll chuck it into a button chuck into a button let me just make that as startup page we'll chuck this into a button just chuck in a button and this will then hide me dot visible equals true there all right so no false so when I click on the button it hides it and when I press s it should appear okay so this is my form I'll hide it and then I press s and it appears so we've hooked into uh, we've, hooked, we've hooked into it there and um, so how do you register multiple hotkeys since we've set it up nicely we uh, we, we can just go register another hotkey um, me dot handle and let's register the escape escape button yeah escape and let's make it close the form escape closes the form that's really it and it's just exactly what escape should be doing you know <laughs> but no maybe with some kind of prompts all right so how do you differentiate between the different um, buttons so I so um, so okay so this is where we handle the the, the the key presses but we don't know which key we're pressing so we need to extract another piece of information the ID which is this one here, which is this one here, or rather the key, right? We need to extract the key. And to extract the key, you, um, M has what has another parameter called uh, word parameter here. And if you grab the first one from it, it will tell you uh, which button it press. So you can just check now key, what button it press. So if you, if you, if you press S, you can, you know, do this. Let's have a look at our time looking good and else if you pressed uh, if you press say um, let's 
to be the other one which is escape right escape and uh, you can close the forms just me that close okay me that close there and that's pretty much how you register two di different items just make sure these are the same as this and you can use this uh, my signatures here all right so PRT keys integer keys and over in your win proc where you're detecting whether your keys are pressed you detect whether you press the key then you extract which key you're pressing, and then just do what you want to do in this you know if statement let's try that okay so what I'll do is I'll I'll hide it I'll press s it should show it and what I'll do is I'll press escape it should close it down there you go oh I almost forgot I should show you how to unregister your keys so you should really um, unregister you see especially when you do a form close or something you know you don't want to um, keep your keys registered so you should unregister your hotkeys even though it's kind of it's only rela it's related to your um, that particular handle this particular handle which is this form it's good practice you don't want to you know you want to free up memory stuff like that right so for this one this particular unregister the documentation for unregister is um, let me just find it for us let me just Google unregister hotkey. You Google unregister hotkey and then you just go have a look at the documentation and it only takes two things, just the first two. So just these two. It only takes you only need to know these two things. So we'll just grab that. And just shove into there. And when should we register? When we close the form, you know? Maybe we have some kind of close procedure. Uh, close form. Some kind of close procedure right so when we close it we should unregister uh, um, so we'll go unregister oh hang on did I name yeah unregister so we'll just grab that one unregister hotkey and we'll unregister we'll tell the handle that and we'll tell it the key that we want to unregister. So S there. Unregister hot key. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. So and we should unregister all our keys. And you might have some kind of way that you do it more efficiently. For me, I'm just doing it one by one like that for now. Just haven't set anything up. So yeah, when you close the form, and then over here, before you close the form, just call your close form, and then close the form. Uh, now the thing is just just be mindful there are other ways to close a form you could close a form this way or you can knock it off in the task manager so to handle those ones you should put in a um, form closed form events closed so that or you know chuck it into a close somewhere or closing or something like that you know closed and you should register you should do it there as well just just to make sure right and really yeah that's no, fine all right so um, so if I close this form it should unregister hotkey over here um, oh there's an issue here cannot return variance ah this 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 returns a boolean whether it was success was true or successfully did it or not over here returns a boolean forgot about that not going to use it though should use it and there you go works fine anyway thank you for listening